day four of Boston. This completes my last day here. And uh, I did a lot of things. I actually went to the TD Bank North uh, Garden, which is where the Celtics and Bruins play. And I even went to Fenway Park where the Sox play. and I actually had lunch at uh, the Bleacher Bar. Which is basically a bar, uh, a sports bar that's actually sunken down so that you're actually at ground level with Fenway. In fact, they have a special little uh, door that actually uh, you can you're actually at the ground level of Fenway Park and when you open that door it's actually Fenway's field like literally you can smell the you, you're like right next you are right against the warning track you can smell the grass you can look out basically it's that um, I think it's in the gap in the, I think in center field uh, I think I want to say right center field right before that it'll drop off so I have a video of that Uh, had a beer and I had um, a really good half brisket, half corned beef um, sandwich on an onion roll with horseradish mayo. And actually, I mean, that meat was really, really tender. The bartender kind of like suggested that I have his version of the sandwich instead of having it on rye with mustard because he's, he says that it's not really as good as the way that he had it specially ordered so I had him specially or a special special order it for me and it was really really good that meat was so tender and because of that onion roll instead of the rye it's not dry and it's not extremely like wheat grainy or rye grainy and and it and the horseradish mayo is really really like pretty tame, pretty mild, so just a hint of flavor, and also with uh, he, we added a provolone uh, provolone cheese on that, so it melted really nice with the with the beef, so that was really good, and then afterwards I did the Freedom Trail, or I finished the Freedom Trail all the way up to Bunker Hill Museum and the Memorial, because um, I think I was too tired, I walked across um, to Charleston Bridge, I want to say, uh, to the USS Constitution, and I had to even wait for my turn to go into the U.S. Constitution. The USS Constitution is actually the oldest commissioned ship in the world that's still floating. Yes, it's still fully active. In fact, the U.S. Navy is still um, is still using that as an actual ship. It hasn't got hasn't been decommissioned. So, cheers for that. Besides, it's 211, almost 212 years old. So, it's getting a lot of renovations. But it was quite amazing. Um, also. Um, 
for dinner, I ended up walking, oh, actually, I didn't, it was fortunate of me that I was up there because they had a ferry from the Navy Yard to uh, the aquarium, which is where my where my hotel is, so it was really convenient. I ended up going to uh, Pizzeria Regina. This was kind of like extra credit because um, CJ, my friend here, who um, I met up with for like a day and a half, uh, she told me, oh, you got to have the pizza at Pizzeria Regina, so I decided to have it. And uh, I had the G, uh, the GM uh, Bada, which is basically all tra traditional ingredients. Fresh peppers, fresh onions, um, salami, sausage, I said onions already? No, onions. And, um, and it was really, really good. Yes, it, it also came with a puddle of grease on the bottom yes, so because of all the toppings and whatnot. And the cheese wasn't uh, much or that powerful. But what makes that pizza amazing is the, um, the infused olive oils that they have at Pizzeria Regina. As you can see from the picture, uh, I have a, it looks like a olive oil uh, infused with uh, red pepper flakes as well as garlic and uh, according to the guys over there at Pizzeria Regina they say it's um, a side of Louis. Uh, Louis was the original bartender at Pizzeria Regina and um, he concocted the infusing of the two different uh, olive oil infusions which were one was just pure garlic and the other one was was our uh, red pepper flakes and so what he did is he combined the two and made his own little special sauce and that's why they call it uh, Louis sauce or a side of Louis and that's what locals say around here if you want that mix and um, CJ told me to just get it separately but all together if you put it together it's pretty good I mean it's got a little bit of spiciness because of that red pepper flakes but you also get that nice garlicky flavor um, so it was really good actually I, I liked that it. it made the pizza even better than it was before the pizza was already good um, it was uh, it's really the crust the crust was really uh, crispy and was really good um, yes it's a little soggy in the center and if the cheese sometimes uh, because I got it to go um, the cheese was kind of clumping up so when you pulled it because of the uh, because of the moisture it kind of pulled the cheese but that's fine with me it's a pizza that I'm used to uh, it's not uh, life changing as uh, Bert's Place I'll give you that but I can say it could probably be better than Nick and Vito's but then again they're all all three are three different types of pizzas so this one is kind of like a regular regular oven uh, I think it's a uh, brick oven cooked and it wasn't formed um, they were basically tossing the dough up in the air and to get that shape and you know this it's kind of like a semi it's kind of like a, it's not a perfect form but I'd say it was good 